Hi everybody, this is Wanda. I have thrown away so much paint today, but this is how I do it. I don't throw it in the garbage, I don't throw it away. I have a two liter bottle that I pour all my leftover paint into. And what ends up happening is it turns out a really dark gray, black color, because all the colors mix. But today I added a bunch of metallics to it, so I have no idea how that's gonna turn out. But what I end up doing with that paint is, I buy these little birdhouses. I get them for a dollar a piece at Michael's. And I pour the old paint down inside of them and swish it around until it's all covered. And that seals the inside of it. And then I pour it over the top until I get something that I kind of like the looks out of, you know, of. And it may be various different colors. It could be one color. This one I thought looked like an old tin roof or whatever. I like the looks of that. I need to trim this. This is actually black and purple and I got some blue in there. And it doesn't matter because they're gonna go outside. I'm just gonna spray them with something. I think I've already sprayed one layer on this one. It looks like it and put them outside on my back deck or something. And that's what I do with use to use up the old paint. And you don't have to put it in the garbage or you know worry about it being in a, in a landfill or whatever that way. And these were colors that are all metallics that I have mixed, that I had enough of. I didn't want to toss them. So um, I think I'm gonna do a ring pour. I just don't even know what I want to do, but <laughs> what I am going to do is tell you how I mix this. This is, and I'll tell you the colors. I won't tell you the brands because I have no idea. Uh, this is a phthalo turquoise that I added some white to and some silver and put some pearl medium in. And that's this color right here. It's beautiful. This one is uh, a silver that I buy by the half gallon and it doesn't have anything added to it, I don't think. This one is um, Artist Loft Gold with some yellow added to it. And that's this one down here. I forgot to change my things around. And some, ye some yellow, Artist Loft Gold with yellow metallic um, or some yellow added to it to make a more yellow metallic. Actually, it says my purple, but it says chroma silver with dioxazine purple added to it. So it's just a really deep metallic purple. And this is um, probably Artist Loft Black. And it has uh, some silver added to it to give it a metallic look. You can mix your own just about any color using silver or white metallic and adding colors to it. So if you run out of a metallic and you really want one, you can create your own. And so that's what these are. I need three ounces. Here's a good way with these five ounce cups to know if you've got three ounces. This is a three ounce Dixie cup. It actually fits right in there. So that tells me that right up to about right here is probably gonna be about three ounces. So that's one way that I judge. And for a 10 by 10, you need about three ounces. So it needs to come up about there where my thumb is. I'm thinking, I wanna see if I can get rings, even though this is kind of, this is dark color, this is dark color, this will probably dry kind of dark. This is light, that one's light, so I kinda of wanna see. But the funny thing is, I don't want this gold in the middle. So I'm gonna start out and work my way through the colors this way. And we will see how that works. because it's all an experiment anyway. I have mixed these thin on my thinometer. I have them pretty thin for me. Wonder what that black and gold's gonna do. And if I go over, over three ounces, I'm not gonna panic because there's no point and I am gonna go over three ounces. So I put too much in the first round. So 
Let's see what happens. I thought about doing a straight pour. I'm so indecisive lately. That must have been a blob. May end up looking like a straight pour anyway. Ooh. I don't think I'm tilting my cup enough. Oh, and I got another story to tell you here in a minute. Let me get this done first. Try pouring a little faster. I think I'm losing my definition now. Probably put too much paint poured for too long, I think. No, I got that blue coming up. Ooh. Travel that a little bit. I'm so bad at catching that. Okay, here's the story I got to tell you. I get ready to do this. <clears throat> My son-in-law sends me a text, tells me he's coming to mow. He'll be here in a few minutes. That could be five, that could be 30. So I put up tops on all my paints. I was literally getting ready to start my camera. I put the tops on my paints. I go upstairs. I put on my outside shoes. We have so many ticks. I get ticks every time I go outside. It doesn't matter if it's 10 minutes, I get back in, I have a tick. So I keep my shoes in a Ziploc bag. I spray them with cutter to kill ticks. I put them on, I spray them, I spray my ankles, I spray the bottoms of my pants. I go outside, I go through the yard, I get the limbs that I know has fallen because it's been raining here for a week, and I take them, put them around back. So he comes and he does the mowing and the weed eating, and I have stuff that are granules that I have bought to kill ticks. So I decide to put those out. So he gets finished and he leaves, and I start putting out these granules, and I go over a couple flower beds around the corner of the house, and I go down the side of the house, and I have a chain link fence in the back. And behind that, I have a huge field of bamboo. So I'm going down the chain link fence where I think he probably weed eated, and I look over, and a quarter of way into my backyard is a six foot long snake. It's a black snake. I've seen this snake before, and I know that it's not poison. So I go back up front, I get more granules, I keep putting them out, it watches me, I watch it, I finish doing what I have to do, I come in, I take my shoes off, put them in the Ziploc bag, because I don't want to bring a tick into the house, grab my camera, go out back and videotape the snake going through my yard and up underneath my deck, because my daughter is not going to believe that. And I cannot let my son-in-law see it or he'll never mow my yard again. He is terrified of snakes. So we cannot let Paul know that we have had, we still have the snake hanging around. Now this was, this was today, which today is Monday. Sunday, yes, yeah, Sunday morning. No, yes, yeah, Saturday, no, Sunday morning. Um, I go outside to wash out a cup and I open my storm door, I mean, my yeah, my screen door to come back in and there's a snake crawling up that's about this long, about two feet long, crawling up the inside door frame between the outside storm door and the inside door. And I freak completely out and it thankfully, Turned around, went back down the door facing, went underneath a brick there at the edge of my concrete pad, 
and hid from me. And I thought, it's this big snake's baby. I'm pretty sure it's this big snake's baby. So, um, that's probably a big female snake that I have back there. So, I spend uh, the next 20 minutes freaking out. And then I decide, it wasn't 20 minutes, it was like two seconds. I decide, okay, I'm going to pick up the water hose and run that thing out from underneath the brick. And that's what I did. I went ahead and reached outside again, opened the door, reached out, grabbed my water hose and ran that snake out from under that brick and out through the yard. So those are Wanda's snake adventures. I do not like that traveling blue. Why did I do that? The rest of it, it is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Now what am I gonna do? I love, ooh, I love this. I'm gonna have to do a second one. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna tilt some of that off. I don't like that. I don't like this squiggly thing right here anyway. So it's going. Something right there is weird looking. So, oh my goodness, I don't like this up here. Good thing I used extra paint, maybe. Maybe not. It's gonna go all wonky on me now because I have to get that off. I don't like that. If I just hadn't traveled it. It looks like a big wide open mouth of something and since I've got snakes on my mind, that's kind of what comes to mind. I gotta get that off. I can't take it. Maybe I'll leave it like that. I kind of like that part. That kind of looks spacey. Just that edge. Oh my goodness, those colors are gorgeous. I gotta take the camera down, show you all a close up. Let you all get over the snake tails. Think about something else. I got the paint a little thinner than I like because now my edges are trying to show through on the corners. But hopefully I can touch that up. And it'll be okay. That's why I'm always scared to go thin. I don't like edges showing and sticking out. So, thank you. Thank you. I, I probably shouldn't have told you all about the snake and heaven forbid that my daughter should watch this video <laughs> and tell Paul, oh my goodness. He does really hate snakes, but that's a non-poisonous and I don't want to kill it because they actually help kill poison snakes. They keep, keep those out of your yard. So um, Wanda and her snake tails, I'll show you a close up. Thank you for hanging with me. Okay, this is how it looks from up top and my shadows on it. And the bad thing is, is I've got lights and shadows and everything else around here. So um, here's how it looks. Oh my goodness, it came out so pretty. I absolutely love these colors. I hope the camera picks them up because they are pretty. That yellowish gold really blended in and looks nice. I was so afraid it was gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Look at the lines. Mm -mm -mm. I like this one. I think this is pretty, very pretty. So, that's how it turned out. So mix your own metallics. Don't be afraid, just jump in there and try. Thanks for watching.